Welcome to the Manna for the Soul podcast. I'm Greg Ledbetter. I am thankful that you have joined us as we have opportunity to feed our soul with God's Word. What does it mean to know God? If we just thought about the statement, knowing God, what does that mean? I want to throw out this statement as we move throughout our podcast today. To know God is to love God. In Matthew chapter 12, the Pharisees ask Jesus a question in verse number 28. Remember, the Pharisees are not asking because they want an answer. They're asking because they're trying to trick him. They want evidence of him going against the law so that so that he can be uh, prosecuted for doing so. In Mark chapter 12, verses 29 and 30, Jesus answered them and said, The first of all of the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. This is the first command. I want you to think about this statement as well. Loving God every day involves a battle of our minds. I believe that's what Mark chapter 12, verses 29 and 30 is telling us, or at least part of it is. That loving God every day involves a battle for our minds. What do I mean? Think about how many times our thoughts have caused us to stumble or to fall into some type of temptation. Perhaps it's the fear of the unknown that consumes your mind. The more you think and dwell on this fear, the bigger it becomes. It eventually is completely drowned out your faith in God's goodness and His faithfulness and His provisions. That's why in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5, we're reminded when it says, Cast down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. In other words, Paul is teaching the church in Corinth how to battle for their minds. And it starts with taking every thought and captive and, and holding it up against the knowledge of God. Well, then the question might be, well, how do we know the knowledge of God? How do we know the character of God? How do we know the mind of God? We study His Word. God has given to us the Word that we need. He reveals Himself as what He wants us to see in His Word. So that's why our personal quiet time and Bible study are so crucial in, in battling for our minds. How else will we know the mind of God and what is true in the face of lives? How else will we know what God expects of us and how we are to live? You're not going to learn it by listening to talk radio. You're not going to learn it by staring at your computer or your phone or vegging out in front of the TV. No, loving God with all of our minds requires that our minds meditate on God and to meditate on His Word. One of my favorite passages of Scripture when we're talking about this idea of God's mind and our mind comes from Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9. He says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, to care of the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than yours. Those verses are beautiful. They describe the why of the Word of God is so unique because so much of what we read and listen to or consumed on social media today tends to be contrary to the truth of God's Word. We need to immerse ourselves in His Word as one way in which we can really get to know who God is. The more we get to know who God is, the better we can identify and combat the lies 
of this world. So I say again, the more we know God, the more we can love God with our minds. If there's anything that we can help you with, we ask that you would contact us at the North Brandon Church of Christ in Brandon, Mississippi. Check out our Facebook page and our YouTube page. We live stream each of our services on both of those pages. Why don't you check us out sometime? Until next time, you have a blessed day.